ECU Athletics presents The Joe Dooley Show. The Joe Dooley Show is brought to you by Vidant Health, official health system of the ECU Pirates. And now, the voice of the Pirates, Jeff Charles. Welcome to the show this week. Joe will be here in just a couple of minutes, and we'll look at the highlights from the Temple game. Also coming up, our Pirate player profile, Jaden Gardner. He is the talk of the American Athletic Conference and really college basketball throughout the country. What an incredible freshman season he is having. He is from Wake Forest and also Heritage High School, and our Brian Bailey will be here, and we'll learn a little bit more about Jaden. Also coming up, our Coach's Corner show. And we'll have, of course, the associate head coach of the Pirates, Rafael Chilius, will drop by. Also coming up on the show, we'll have a look ahead to next week. As next week, the Pirates will have a couple of games. ECU will be on the road against Houston, the best team in the league. That is coming up Wednesday night. And then the Pirates are home on Saturday at 4 o'clock against a very much improved USF ball club. Coach Dooley joins me right after this. When you're not feeling well, Vidant Health can connect you to the care you need anytime, anywhere, from any device. Connect to a new way to get well. Connect to Vidant Now. With Vidant Now Virtual Care, you can visit a board-certified doctor online 24-7. It's private, secure, and affordable. See a doctor now at VidantNow.com. Best tailgate, brisket. No, real football y pollo asado. Hoops and wings, dude. Subs. Hot dog. Chili dog. No, Dodger dog. It's gotta be crawfish. Now you're talking burgers. Seven layer dip. Ribs. No contest. Hummus. Hum what? You need a hot grill and an ice cold Coke. Of course. Football and Coke, come on. It's got to be Coke. Game day. Race day. Calls for Coke. You know it. Grab yourself a Coke. It's tailgate 101. You may not have noticed, but it's all connected to the internet. Sure, it's YouTube, Netflix, and adorable selfies, but it's also high-octane gaming, security cams, thermostats, your fridge, Wi-Fi speakers, smartwatches, workout equipment, pet feeders, and even crockpots. Seriously, and it's all on the same internet connection. At least with internet from Suddenlink, your home can live up to its fully connected potential. Without it, not so much. Suddenlink, the fastest internet provider in the U.S. Tens of thousands of students attend East Carolina University, and some never set foot on campus. Because our distance education classes are taught by professional faculty and held to the same high standards as on-campus learning. With more than 90 online programs, 40 of them unique to ECU, more students than ever before are making East Carolina University their online destination. ECU Online, North Carolina's leader in distance education. There's a lot to do out there. You can either talk about it or you can do something about it. At ECU, we choose to do things. And we can help you do just about anything. Come here to keep hometowns thriving, hearts beating, or make waves across the world. Wherever you're headed, this ship can get you there. With 30,000 of us doing so much, you won't find anyone sitting around. You ready? Today's highlights are brought to you by these local nationwide agents. Coach joins us now, and the Pirates had the weekend off. So, Coach, how did you spend your weekend? Well, we uh, a lot of recruiting. Uh, able, we're also able to practice a little bit. It was probably good. We've got some guys a little dinged up, so we're able to get some skill work and some practice. and get that done early in the day and then uh, go recruiting at night and go watch some underclassmen and also some guys that are recruiting for next year. One guy who has been banged up is Justin Watley. What's the report on Justin? Well, Justin will be probably done for the year. Uh, he had the hand surgery. Hope maybe you can get him back. Uh, that's one of those deals that you don't want to rush because you don't want to re-break it. Um, unfortunate, you know, he's been he's been battling this deal for two years and the doctors decided it was probably time to fix it and try to get him uh, you know, where he'd have some time to heal and get him healthy for the summer so we can, or for the spring so we can get some workouts in and going into the summer. 
He is one of the bigs that the Pirates have at 6'8". This is not a big basketball team as we know. But, Joe, we haven't talked a whole lot about that. This is a small team, but you guys are plus four in rebound margin. So you've done a good job there. You guys have done, you know, uh, you know obviously Seth and Jaden are pretty good. And, uh, you know, K.J. Davis has done a nice job on the backboard. But we are tiny. I mean, I look out there sometimes and I'm, I'm like, the, our, our four is really a two. But, uh, you know, we've pursued the ball. We had, you know, it's, it's we don't necessarily rebound the ball at the rim level, but we do run down a lot of loose balls. Jaden Gardner has been incredible. In fact, he was the talk of the league and the talk of college basketball after that 35 point 20 rebound game at UCF. He's just putting up some incredible numbers, coach. He's, you know, he pursues the ball. He's consistent in his effort and practice. I think that's one of the biggest things. He doesn't really have a bad day. He might have a bad play or two. Uh, he comes in, he has a smile. He works every day. Um, he's got a good attitude and he's, he's always wanting to learn, which is which is easy. To, it's easy to coach guys like that. Yeah, no doubt about that. Now, he's the kind of guy you can build this program around, isn't he? He's a foundational player, there's no doubt. And I think uh, other guys would want to play with him. I think one thing that's under, uh, you know, uh, people don't see, he's a very good passer. Mm -hmm. And I think as it goes along, he sees more things, he'll become an even better passer. Uh, he'll be, continue to become a better player. I think it's exciting to see what he can do. No doubt about that. Uh, ju junior and seniors play kind of like he plays. Joe, when you look out there on the floor and realize he's a true freshman, it's kind of hard to believe. It is, and, and I think, like we said, I mean, I think it'll be pretty cool. You know, this summer will be a deal where we work on a lot of three-point shooting stuff, a lot of face-up stuff from deeper. Um, I, I think he's a guy that can continue to get better. And the other thing is, since he works, he will get better, which is fun. When we come back, we'll look at the highlights from the Temple game. That's next. Hang in there with us. There's something for everyone at Golden Corral. Let's talk about their wings. Get them sweet, spicy, even boneless. Get as much as you want for one low price. It's WingFest for a limited time, only at Golden Corral. Count Pomplemousse, even though you won't try our kingdom's favorite lager, since you are my guest, I will try your meat. No, no, really take in the Laird aroma. The Laird? It's got a fantastic after-essence, after don't you think? No, no, first you have to admire its color. No, I, you know, I can't do it. Bud Light, please, and show these two to the wine cellar. <laughs> Bud Light, for the many, not the few. When it's too cold for camping, we go camping. When it's too hot to work, we work. Too wet to keep going? Nah. This is the Gator XUV835 with game-changing heat and air and three wide seating. It's never too anything for anything. Nothing runs like a deer. Reliable equipment and dependable service. That's quality. Stop by a location near you or request a quote at qualityequip.com. Planet Fitness is a proud sponsor of the ECU Pirates, and we're celebrating with zero enrollment fees. You love purple, we love purple. You take no quarter, we take no quarter. With benefits like a 24-7 judgment-free zone packed with tons of equipment, free unlimited fitness training, and the friendliest crew on deck. So, are you ready, Pirate fans? Wear your pirate colors to Planet Fitness in Greenville, Wilson, or Rocky Mount for a free Planet Fitness Day Pass. Plus, no enrollment fee when you join. And go Pirates! At Golden Corral, enjoy the signature sirloin. Juicy, hand-carved, grilled how you like every night. And right now, hurry in for Wingfest. Get as much as you want of their sweet, spicy, and boneless wings. There's something for everyone at Golden Corral. There's a lot to do out there. You can either talk about it, or you can do something about it. At ECU, we choose to do things. And we can help you do just about anything. Come here to keep hometowns thriving hearts beating, or make waves across the world. Wherever you're headed, this ship can get you there. With 30,000 of us doing so much, you won't find anyone sitting around. You ready? The Temple Owls came into Williams Arena Minji's Coliseum on a high 13 and 3, 3 and 1 in the league. They received votes for the top 25. Fran Dunphy, the legendary retiring coach at Temple, his final appearance in Greenville. Joe, and what has he meant to the coaching profession? Well, I think here's a guy that's, you know, when you look 30 years as a head coach at Penn and Temple's done an unbelievable job. Uh, great representative of our game has been on the NABC committees and 
I think he's had been a great advocate for basketball, and I think he's done it the right way. I think he's very, very respected in the league and, and throughout the country. And it was it, he's very well honored, for, uh, believe me. Yeah, no doubt. And I'll tell you what, Coach, uh, the one thing about him, too, is this year he's got a really good ball club. He's got three really good players. Their guards are terrific, and, and Alston is one of those guys. Not only can he score, he can get his own shot. Late clock, uh, there's no panic in those guys. They can jump up and make a deep three. They can drive it. Pierre-Louis uh, is a downhill driver, and Rose, obviously, is a, as long as he is, he's, he, he gives you a lot of problems. And the Temple Owls gave the Pirates problems to start the game. They came out, and they just started making threes from all over the place. Let's pick up the highlights from the game on Wednesday night. A loud, enthusiastic crowd of 4,551. Joe, we pick up the highlights, and my goodness, Temple came out, and they were red hot. Shiz Austin knocks down four threes in the first half. He gets the first one here. We did everything to take the momentum out of our own hands. So we, we, we sort of calmed our own crowd down, but Austin can make shots, and uh, you know he makes them off the screens. He can make them off the dribble, and, and he is a terrific player. Devondre Perry also gets a three-pointer here. Shiz Austin comes back and nails another three-pointer, and then a very athletic guard, Nate Pierre-Louis, gets a tip in here. He's he is the heart and soul of their team, we thought. He's a great downhill driver. He does a great job of getting to the rim, and he's probably one of their better perimeter defenders also. Pirates get down big and then start to come back. Seth Lede gets a jumper to go here to make it 24-8, to eight, and then K.J. Davis hits a three, and Coach, he would hit three threes in this game. Yeah, K.J. had, had some good looks and put the ball in the basket. We need him to continue to shoot it and play with some confidence. KJ gets a layup too. Pirates are down 11 now, 26 to 17, but they were down 20 early. And then Sean Williams gets the jumper to go, and I know you're looking for Sean to start shooting the ball. Yeah, we need Sean to make some shots, and you know, one of the things that's different this year is he's getting, you know, probably everybody's best defender, and we need to find different ways to get him open, and when he is open, he's got to jump up and make some shots for us. The comeback is on here. Seth Lede gets a tip for the Pirates, so that big lead now is down to eight as the Pirates cut it to single digits, and then K.J. Davis gets a layup. It's a 10-point game, and then J.P. Mormon, who is from Greensboro, gets a basket here, and it's a 10-point lead for Temple. Temple goes in to the locker room, up double digits. We pick up action now in the second half, and K.J. comes out and nails another three. Yeah, we got off to a good start in the second half, much better, obviously, than the first half, and he was a big part of it. Yeah, Pirates came out played really well to start the second half. Isaac Fleming gets a jumper to go here, and I know you're looking for more points from him. Yeah, we need, obviously, just from a, a standpoint of spreading the points around and not putting so much pressure on Jaden, we need Isaac and Sean and Seth and those guys to give us a little bit more point-wise. K.J. Davis gets another three here. Pirates have cut it to four, and then a dunk here by Seth Lede. This was a big-time play by Seth. Cuts the lead to four again. And then, Coach, you get it back to a two-point game as Jaden Gardner gets a jumper here. Well, Jaden got on a little bit of a roll, and we finally got some defensive stops, and we're able to get out in transition and, and, and score some points. And then the Pirates would cut it to one. Sean Williams stays after this one, uh, Coach, and he gets the tip in here. Yeah, he went and got, and got into the lane and missed a shot and went and got it, and it uh, looked like a lot of contact, and, and, uh, but he, he did finish it. So the Pirates have cut it to one, 42-41, and then a dunk here by Nate Pierre-Louis makes it a 47-41 lead for Temple. And then Quentin Rose comes back, knocks down a three, and then Temple starts to go on a mini run here. Well, our defensive transition wasn't very good. We, we had a couple breakdowns there and didn't get back, and that was very disappointing. Coach, a good sign here. Isaac Fleming nails a three here, cuts the lead to six. We, you know, just when it seemed like they would break it open, we, we answered some runs and just could never get over the hump. And then Shiz Alston comes back. He nails another three. He would have seven threes. In this game, he hits another three here, and Temple goes up by 13, 73 to six after the layup by Jaden Gardner, and then Jaden hits a three-pointer here late for you, Coach. T too much with Austin making those threes. You know, we're third in the country in three-point field goal percentage defense and give up 50% and give up seven to one guy. That was that was disappointing. And the Pirates lose to Temple, 85 to 74. As always, the Pirates played their hearts out, and as you just saw, they closed the lead to one. But Temple never did give up the lead in this game. We got it back. The guys did a nice job of fighting back. We were, we were dead in the water early in the game, as you know. But uh, that's where we need to have more poise. We had a stretch where we had the lead, uh, their lead down to one, and we took some bad shots. That's when you need to slow down and execute. I think we got a little excited that we, we closed the gap. Uh, instead of slowing down, we sped up, which probably really hurt us. And we missed a bunch of bunnies. We missed a bunch of shots at the rim. 
Uh, and they took advantage, and, and you can't do that against a good team, which Tampa really is. And, Joe, Jaden Gardner had another terrific game, almost another double-double, 27 points and eight big rebounds. Well, he, he really got going for a stretch there, and uh, I thought his face-up game was really good and, and had some finishes at the rim, and uh, we were able to get him the ball in space, and he's, he just had another great game. And K.J. Davis gave you some good minutes, too. Well, he made some threes, which we need. I mean, we've, uh, we've really struggled from the three-point line for the year, and he was able to jump up and make some shots, especially to start the second half. You know, he got us off to a good start. We made a big corner three, and it seemed like every time uh, we needed to make a little answer, he was part of it. And your team needs to shoot better from three, don't you? Yeah, I mean, that's, there's no <laughs> we can't shoot any worse. I, I say that, and we probably can, but let's hope, let's hope we don't. I, I, it's not. I mean, I think it's a little bit of a confidence deal. Uh, we work on it a ton. I've never been anywhere where we spend as much time on shooting, but uh, we've got to continue to address. That'll be something throughout the rest of the season and in the off season and in recruiting. We come back. We'll have more with Joe right after this. Are you tired of picking up those missing shingles? It may be time for a new roof, a metal roof from Carolina Windows and Doors. Iconar system guarantees our roof to outlast the competition. Rest assured your roof will stand alone in durability and performance. Cool Roof technology is incorporated with every Iconar metal roofing system. This is a reflective coating that not only keeps your finish from fading or deteriorating, it also helps reduce heating and cooling costs. This Cool Roof technology is so different that it's earned the government's Energy Star certification in every color, even black. And it's more than 10 times more fade resistance than other metal roofs, allowing the full impact of color for years to come. We have installation crew members that have been with Carolina Windows and Doors for over 30 years. We believe this plays a vital role in delivering the most positive customer satisfaction possible, as well as the highest quality of materials. Call Carolina Windows and Doors today at 1-800-545-7172 or visit us online at cwdnc.com. This is Billy. Billy Beer, America's light craft beer. Yeah, you heard that right. Light, craft, and insanely good. It's got that refreshing, crisp taste, and it's got fewer calories than all the big guys. Yeah, those big guys. So that means less of this and more of this. So whether you're here, 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 or here, take Billy with you. Billy Beer. Love it, crush it. This is Crushable Craft. You may not have noticed, but it's all connected to the internet. Sure, it's YouTube, Netflix, and adorable selfies, but it's also high-octane gaming, security cams, thermostats, your fridge, Wi-Fi speakers, smartwatches, workout equipment, pet feeders, and even crockpots. Seriously, and it's all on the same internet connection. At least with internet from Suddenlink, your home can live up to its fully connected potential. Without it, not so much. Suddenlink, the fastest internet provider in the U.S. There's a lot to do out there. You can either talk about it, or you can do something about it. At ECU, we choose to do things. And we can help you do just about anything. Come here to keep hometowns thriving, hearts beating, or make waves across the world. Wherever you're headed, this ship can get you there. With 30,000 of us doing so much, you won't find anyone sitting around. You ready? Welcome back to the show. Pretty incredible when a true freshman comes in at the Division I level. He has six double-doubles. He's just put up some incredible numbers. We're talking about Jaden Gardner. And Joe, how is he able to get it done? He's got a knack. I mean, he's he's a good, not great athlete. Uh, he is very physical, um, and he he has a feel. And the one thing is, he's fearless. I mean, I've I've been fortunate to coach a lot of really good players, and I, I've never coached a freshman that's put up numbers like him. And that's including all the guys that you know. We had good players at Florida Gulf Coast and Kansas, and I've never coached a guy that's put up numbers like this. Uh, he needs more help, uh, and I, hopefully some of these guys will continue to step up. But uh, he, he's he can uh, the better he shoots the ball from the perimeter, the more it's going to set up a lot of different things. And the other thing is look at the amount of free throws he shoots. And those, those really are easy points for him. He's a very good free throw shooter. Yeah, no doubt about that. He's been around 80% this year. Jaden Gardner making quite an impact with ECU basketball. And our Brian Bailey had a chance to visit with Jaden. It's time now for today's Pirate Profile. 
Brought to you by Quality Collision. Quality Collision, more than a name, a commitment. Visiting again today with Jaden Gardner, 35 points, 20 rebounds, and that's only been done about you know, 10, 15 times in the last decade. It just doesn't happen every day, and you did it. Uh, I just had to credit my teammates and, my, and the fans and the coaching staff for believing me and trusting me. I just went out there and tried to help my team win. 35 points, 20 rebounds against the front line, 7-6 taco fall. How big was he out there? He was ginormous. <laughs> I looked like a little kid compared to him. <laughs> but, but so how do you get those points? How do you get those rebounds against him? And, and they also had some other really tall players in there. I just, Chills told me you got to go in the game, kind of like try to play like a guard. So that's what my, that was my mindset. They The big mans weren't really like lateral quickness, so I just tried to be crafty around the rim and shoot a lot of jump shots to get them away from the basket. Do you think you play bigger than you actually are? Yeah, most definitely. Heart. I got a lot of heart. I got a lot of soul, and I just work every day. And is that the key to rebounding? Is all of that heart, all of that soul battling on every possession? Yeah, it's heart, soul, and it's mental. You got to be mentally tough, and I think I'm really mentally tough. A couple of tough road games. How good is it to get back at home and play a home game? It's great. I can't wait to see the fans out there. They know we've been working hard. We've been working hard for them, and we're just going to go out there and try to get this W for them Wednesday night. All right, playing so well in your freshman season, but what can you do better? I can do a lot better. I can talk more. I can play defense better. I can shoot the ball better. I can get my free throw percentage up. I can I can do a lot better. So I haven't reached my ceiling yet, fans. And you had a nice tweet this week saying you're going to be here for a long time. And a lot of Pirate fans really enjoyed that tweet. Yeah, I just want them to know that we're committed. I'm committed to them. And we're all working hard for them. And they just have to come out and watch us work at Menzies. That's our Pirate profile this week, Jaden Gardner. Last week, we talked about side pick and rolls where we're keeping it on one side against teams who are hedging. This week, we're going to talk about if teams do something we call ice, blue, downing a ball screen, where we're going to do something entirely different, but it works great as well. So Ian's guarding uh, Robbie. Justin's guarding me. I'm coming to try to set a screen, and as I'm going to set the screen, Justin yells, ice. So that means the bid's going to stay back here and the guard's gonna jump on his outside. And we're gonna force him down. So now the guard can only play on this side of the court, which obviously it shrinks the court a lot, makes it harder to score. But we're gonna do, we're gonna attack the big. We're gonna attack that big. So the guard has sent us down. I'm gonna go at the big and stretch him out. Two hard dribbles down, okay? And our big, who's Ian right now, as I describe it, I just throw it back to him. Let's go. Good. 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 Let's go. Let's go. Let's go in. Good. Let's set him up. Get it back. Flat. Good. Good. Good, Justin. Good. Let's say the defense is in great position when our big shot fakes it and decides to drive to the basket. Makes no sense for Justin to try and go and get a dunk here because we're going to get a what? We're going to get a charge. So now we're going to have Justin going to drive hard with the ball and then fan the ball to the corner, to the open shooter. Ready? Here we go. Good. Short roll. Drive it hard. Fan it. Good. Post. Good. Nice job. Nice job. Nice job. If you're one dimensional and you're just rolling to the rim, consider your bigs taking charges. They're going to get charges taken on them. But once they learn how to drive, read a defender, and make the right play, the world becomes big for your big and for the rest of the players on your team because once that ball gets sprayed to the corner, it's causing someone to help. And then if he doesn't have a shot, you make what we call the one more or extra pass up to the wing. It just puts the defense in constant rotation. Once you get a defense to rotate, the, the game is yours. Got that new home edition and you're keeping it covered. Ooh, coverages now. I can help with this. Got zone coverage, man coverage, combo coverages. I don't know, Peyton. I think more like the coverage your nationwide agent offers. Oh, you want to go there. Home, auto, life, business, farm, boat, RV, ATV, camper, pet, motorcycle, your tour bus. Right. Did I mention farm? Count Pomplemousse, even though you won't try our kingdom's favorite lager, since you are my guest, I will try your meat. 
No, no. Really take in the Laird aroma. The Laird? It's got a fantastic after-essence, after don't you think? No, no. First, you have to admire its color. No, I, you know, I can't do it. But, like, please, and show these two to the wine cellar. Bud Light, for the many, not the few. Tens of thousands of students attend East Carolina University, and some never set foot on campus. Because our distance education classes are taught by professional faculty and held to the same high standards as on-campus learning. As one of the largest universities and the largest online community in the state, you'll find the Pirate Nation wherever you are. With this many ways to connect, share, and succeed, we'll guide you to graduation and beyond. ECU Online, North Carolina's leader in distance education. When it's too cold for camping, we go camping. When it's too hot to work, we work. Too wet to keep going? Nah. This is the Gator XUV835 with game-changing heat and air and three wide seating. It's never too anything for anything. Nothing runs like a deer. Reliable equipment and dependable service. That's quality. Stop by a location near you or request a quote at qualityequip.com. There's a lot to do out there. You can either talk about it or you can do something about it. At ECU, we choose to do things. And we can help you do just about anything. Come here to keep hometowns thriving, hearts beating, or make waves across the world. Wherever you're headed, this ship can get you there. With 30,000 of us doing so much, you won't find anyone sitting around. You ready? Welcome back to the show. The Pirates have a very busy week coming up. That's where we are in January in the conference season. ECU will be at Houston on Wednesday night to take on the Cougars and then a very much improved USF ball club will be here on Saturday afternoon at Williams Arena Minji's Coliseum. Joe, let's start with Houston. Kelvin Sampson's team has been the best team in the league. Yeah, they're, they're terrific. When you look at their defensive stats, they're very aggressive. I, what I've been impressed with mostly is their, is their depth. I mean, they are long, they're athletic, they throw bodies at you the entire time. Uh, great in transition, uh, make or miss, they're driving it down the floor. Uh, Kelvin's done a great job. They're, they're terrific defensively. He's done a, an outstanding job with that team. Those two guards are terrific. Corey Davis Jr. and Armani Brooks. Boy, when they get on a roll, they can shoot you right out of the gym, can't you know, they? They, they, they score. Their, their percentages aren't great, but they, they, just put, they, get, they don't turn it over. So they get more shots, and then they turn you over, which obviously puts you in, in harm's way. But they can score in bunches. They can score on tough shots. And then when they do miss, it's like a jailbreak going to the backboard. Those guys are on the glass every time. And then USF is so much improved. A lot of new guys. He had some guys, uh, Rideau sitting out, and Collins is having a great year. And uh, they, they got off to a great start. They've been in really close conference games. And Brian's done a really good job of, of blending all those guys together. Okay, Coach, we'll see you next week. Thanks, Jeff. That is the head coach of the Pirates, Joe Dooley. Join us next week. And remember to join us on Saturday afternoon at 4 o'clock. The Pirates are home against USF. Have a great week, everybody. Pirate fans, you're the best. The Joe Dooley Show has been presented by Suddenlink, now offering internet speeds up to one gig. The Joe Dooley Show is an exclusive presentation of IMG, America's home for college sports.